I did. So what is going on everybody? Nick and John here again. We're at Lift Bridge Brewery, Stillwater, Minnesota. It's a bridge lifting. I hate you for making at least an animation. <laughs> so we got another <laughs> round of flights here. Things actually kind of got reversed here. I have a little bit of a darker palette on my side. John's got more of like the light. He'll show his first and I'll show you what my, I'm working with. So there's like your lights, maybe a little bit of a hazy IP in there. Kind of. And then here's my flight. I got the Spectrum. Diversity. All inclusive. Exactly, good job. So, John, you can do your first one. Pick whichever one you want to start with. Oh, well, I think I'm going to go with the coffee blonde. Now, you got to think about it. Most coffee beers are not this light. No, this one is called The World's Greatest Dad. I believe it's a new one for them. Is it? I, I, you, you got but, here before I did, so you probably yeah, know. Coffees before. are usually like that, almost like a milk stout color. It has the hints of it. I didn't smell it at all, but you can taste the coffee flavor in this. But it's so lighter than I'm used to. I know, I was... It's like a refreshing coffee flavor? I tried Is this how people who drink coffee view this? Probably not quite, but... We could ask my parents after this. Yeah, they're, they're coffee good. drinkers. Yeah, they coffee drinkers on top of that. Fair enough. But that's, that's not bad, but that's mm. like... It's not really like, there's not really a whole lot of hops to it either. No, I mean, no, it's no, really no. It's, like a coffee coffee. Yeah, but it's also just so light. It's, it's so weird. easy. <laughs> it's so weird. That's probably the easiest coffee beer I've ever had. It's weird. It's, I like it, but it's weird. And I'm going to do my first one, which is uh, Pineapple Blonde. I had to think about that for a second. Kind of got that nice golden, not like very too dark. Let's give it up. Definitely smells like a refreshing kind of, almost smells like a mango in a way. Not even like a pineapple. Well, they do have a mango option that none of us got this time. But there is a mango option as well. Ooh. That is great. So, that one, you don't really taste hops. Definitely refreshing. Like, if you're looking for a good cat cleanser. One more time. Palette cleanser. Words are hard. I would re recommend this one. Or like I said, we were talking about, the Mango Blonde, it's also another good option. Yeah. That one, if you mix it with Kona Big Wave, you can actually get like a uh, really good mango refresher. I know our coworker, Cade, made a mention of the name for what he calls it, but overall, pretty solid to me. There you go. Now I'm gonna go next up with my Lime Time. Like the aliens from Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. Strangers from the outside. The clown. The clown. So lime time, yes. Definitely one of the lighter ones, as all of mine are, obviously. Does it smell like lime? Like you get like a little hint of it, like a little little hint, like like someone took like shavings and kind of just threw it in and it's a lime. Yeah, basically. You taste a little bit of lime. It kind of tastes like when you have like one of those Mexican beers, like Corona or Dos Equis. Dos Equis, excuse me. Dos Equis. Um, and you add like the lime to it, but you add like a, like a, I think it's a Just like one lime. squeeze or something like that. Kind yeah, of maybe, maybe even like one of those whole little wedges, but that's it. And it's like in like one of the bigger, like. Like what people do for Jack and Cokes. I mean, um, rum and Cokes where they put the lime in there. Yeah, but you know, obviously with a larger amount of liquid. There's yeah. a there's a hint in there, and it's not bad. It's actually still so very it's not refreshing. Like kind of thing. Mm -mm, not at all. It honestly just tastes like beer with a squozen of lime. All right. Well, round two for me is Farm Girl. This is one of my lighter ones. So. Oh. I thought you didn't get Farm Girl, so we both got Farm Girl this time. <laughs> Whoopsies. That's, that's, that's okay with me. Oh. Schlamp. Scale. It's a little happy. Yeah. Not a whole lot. It's, it's got an interesting taste to it. A little bit. Kind of like a 
It's like a weak kind of beer. Yeah. This is like it's a it's hard to describe it, honestly. It's a weird it's an interesting one. It makes me think of that one beer that I think you had back at um uh what was that place? The big place in Duluth. What was that place called? Bent Paddle. Thank you, Bent Paddle. There's one of those beers there that he had a very similar flavor profile. Yeah. That was It's decent. Would I get it again? Probably not. Yeah. It's just it's being one of those. Yeah, it's also a golden ale, so it's probably a little bit more but it's like I'm drinking plenty of golden ales. But this one, for some reason, just... It hits differently, and not yeah. necessarily in the best of ways. It's not bad. Exactly. But it's not, exactly. the, it's not the best of ways. All right, what's your third? Well, that was my third, because I decided to drink with you. Because I also... That was your fourth. Well, that was my number... <laughs> Shut up. That was my number four. But that was the third <laughs> one I had. Yes, smart dingus. So, you can go for your your third, since I had my third with you, since we had the same beer. Okay. Hit me that little brochure because that actually describes what's going on here. So, this third one I have, they're doing raising money for ALS. So, this is kind of like this will tell you what it's about and stuff like that. This is what this beer is specifically made for. All funds go to help find a cure for ALS. And it is a hazy IPA. Which is why I did not get that. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Whoa. That, my friends, is a good IPA. That is a very good IPA. Like, you know what? I don't even care. John, you need to try that. Oh, joy. Like, it is refreshing. Like a, cat. a little bit. You don't like that? I mean, it's not a bad IPA, but I'm still, but there's still some hoppiness to it that's very bitter that I'm not a huge fan of. Like that's not bad. You taste bitter. Oh, I taste bitter. Like you can taste that piney, hoppy flavor. See, to me, I don't taste that. I taste like it's almost like a lemonade in a way to me. Yeah, no, I, we're having different flavor profiles here. Well, like, could I, t can I, I will say, that is quality. I just don't like it. That's the thing, though. I don't like it, but it's quality. All right, your next one. My nice. last one, the Jibe Tacklin. Is that what I said? The Jibe Talkin' Apricot Sour. Now, I'm not always the biggest fan of apricots. Apricots are fine, but they're not my favorite fruit. Apricot. Apricot. How do you pronounce it? Let us know in the comments. Is it apricot or apricot? Or crayon. 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 We've had this fight for three days straight now. <laughs> That's gonna keep going. Huh? Yes, it will. Freaking Illinois people. <laughs> okay, that is delicious. Does but, it actually kick a sour? No. It doesn't taste, like you had like a little hint of sour, but it just tastes like a fruit beer. Like it just tastes sweet. It honestly tastes like, like, a, you know how you have, when you have like, like a apple cider that you left in the fridge for a little bit long, and it starts getting a little bit fuzzy and foamy because it's starting to make alcohol in it? Sure. Okay, maybe I'm the only one who does that because I don't drink my apple cider too fast. <laughs> but it's... It's got like that, it tastes like it was made for like a fruit, like it's supposed to be just like an apricot, like a cider or something like that, and then they just kind of let it go for a little bit, and then it's like now becoming a little bit alcohol. It's deliciously refreshing, it just doesn't taste like a beer. And for my last one, I got it, it's called the Warden Milk Stout. Yeah. I'll be finishing that one? Yep, that's coffee. Okay. So that is our review of our four different ones that we had here at Liftbridge. We will do an end cap here in a little bit. We're gonna try to finish these and we'll that way we can give an actual proper review. So we'll see you guys afterwards. Later.
All right, so we have now finished our drinks. John's has already been taken away before, but I still have mine, but we're gonna rate ours now. Our four different ones, we're gonna go on a scale like one to five. Flavor-wise, we'll kind of give it a rating. Happiness, we'll give it a good rating too. And then overall, how much we actually enjoy it. So go ahead and start with your first one, John. Well, my first one was the Coffee Blonde. I would say on the hoppiness, it was kind of on like a one, maybe one and a half. It wasn't very hoppy. I'd say it's a very, e it was a very easy flavor to have. Um, Flavor-wise, there's like a hint of coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I've said this before on the channel, but I also like to try the coffee ones just to be like, yeah, I still don't want to drink actual coffee, just the beer stuff. <laughs> Fair point. Yeah. Um, I think it was like a, I think it was like a four on the flavor. Four, four. Three, three to three to four. I'd say overall, it's like a solid four all rounder. It was good flavor, very light, it was a very light flavor, which I appreciate. And it's just kind of like, yeah, you get your coffee flavor. If you want like a light coffee flavor, you don't want just to drink a stout or you know those nitro stouts that make you go, oh, oh, I can only have one done. Crazy. Yeah, then this is a good coffee one for you to drink. Um, for my, yeah, we're not rating them for like one to five, like right. one, two, three, four, like our favorite sports. We'll just go back to back. Okay, so you want to do yours next. So yeah. I'll do mine. My first one was Pineapple Blonde. <laughs> Flavor scale. Expression. I'd give it about a, a three and a half. It was good. It didn't really taste pineapple. I tasted kind of like more of a mango, but it was still refreshing, if that makes sense. I wonder if it came out, comes out with similar to him. It, it, it must in some way, shape, but... Or it's just, just so fruity. It could be that too. Yeah. Hoppiness, a one. It is not hoppy forward, so... If you're kind of like me, I don't like my hoppiness. I really don't. But... It was like... Overall... It's a good one. I still had... I will give it that. It's still a good one, though. What's Lime, number two, John? Lime time. Ooh. Lime time. <laughs> Lime time. Um, I would say that the hoppiness scale, one. It's not very hoppy, it's a very light drink. Um, but on that subject, um, I would also give the flavor like maybe a two. It's, it's a very light drink. If you want just like a beer with like a hint of lime, this is the drink you want. You can compare it to 7-Up basically. You like, really almost can. Like, like in a way, it's really basically 7-Up or Sprite put I've into had, a beer. I've had better lime flavor from like sparkling water than from this beer. And I mean, if you want something very light, then it suits you. And that's not bad, but I think the other fruity options might be better on this list. For like the berry blonde or the grapefruit blonde or there's a pineapple blonde that you had. There's a mango blonde. I, I think lime thyme is not the one you need to go about the most. Unless you mango blonde, I'll recommend, hands down. There you mango go. Blonde. But um, uh, as an overall, I'd give it like a two, because unfortunately this man is correct, and it tastes like a uh, like a little bit more fuller flavored Seven Up, yeah, <laughs> not even a Sprite. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's not even a Sprite level. It's we'll, like a Seven we'll, Up. We'll, give, we'll agree on that one. Yeah, yeah, that, oh, wait, do we do we want to be kind and say like Sierra Mist level, or is it just Seven Up? <sighs> it's a Sierra Mist Seven Up level. Yeah. It, it, it's just you know what? I like Sierra Mist more, so I'm I'm sad it's gone. I'm glad Sierra Mist is now gone. So I'm gonna say seven up level. My number two was Farm Girl. Flavor wise. Do we want to just like both compare Farm Girl because we both got it? <laughs> to me it was a two flavor wise. Happiness probably a three. It was a little bit, it was a little hoppy, but it was more towards the wheat kind of hop. It's not really a, like a stout kind of where it's been blackened, but eh, well, it's definitely wheat forward. Oh, wheat forward, yes, I agree. I agree on that. So it's just two flavor, three happiness, but. I'd give it like a, I'd also say two flavor, maybe like a 3.5, .3 maybe. Somewhere around there. Somewhere five. around there, but I, but I guess. We can agree on that one. Yeah, we agree on that one. It's definitely would, not, not, a, not a favorite. Yeah, I would not give it a good. Good, good quality, not a favorite. What's your number three, John? Number three. What well, we talk about from girl. Oh well, you'll have two oh, in a row. That's yeah. your. Uh, I remember. I had the 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 apricot, the jab talking. Jab talking apricot. That? I or wish. I wish it was more sour. I wish it was more sour. So many sours are not sour enough for me. 
I admit, I have a high side sour tolerance. I love sour beers. Sour beers are delicious. Most sour beers do not do not live up to what I want. I'm, I'm a snob on the sours. I'm not gonna argue. But if you want like a nice light beer that tastes like an apricot, it tastes like apricot or apricot, however you wanna say it. The fruit with a big pit that's not a plum. <laughs> or an avocado. It does not taste like an avocado. It tastes like an apricot. <laughs> Boy, shush. If you want like a good fruit beer that truly tastes like what you are drinking, like you want, you want an apricot, but I don't feel like eating it. This is a good beer to drink it. I'm not gonna argue there. Hops is like a one flavor. I would say personally, maybe like a three, maybe, maybe three, three and a half, three and a half because that's a good fruit flavor. So it, for me, I even, I we tried a little bit of each other's kind of different drinks. Let's just kind of see what they were like. Yeah. I'm not an apricot eater or apricot. Like, like we said, whatever you want to call it, we don't care. But flavor is actually good. Like, I have to give them. They did. They nailed it on the head for that flavor wise. Yes. I, I can't be mad. No, I'm. I'm only a little mad. You don't mind it because you don't. You don't like sours anyways. And that yes. didn't taste sour. I'm like you would probably put it at like a four for a flavor if you were to rate it. Hands down, it was like a four for me. That's why I'm saying mine is like a three because they say it's a sour and it doesn't taste sour. That's why I'm I'm giving it. I'm docking. Which it. it's fair. It, it, that's why I'm that is a, a fair point. Bit. If you're gonna label it a sour, it has to be a sour. You can't that. just kind of make it a fruit drink. If you're gonna do fruity, label it as a fruit drink. And it, it's a good fruit drink. It's not a good sour. That's that's my that's my issue with this. My number three was, as I talked about earlier, was the ALS beer, which was a hazy IPA. Ales for ALS. I'm not an IPA guy by any means. If I find a good one though, I will drink it. Like, hands down, I will drink it. And this one was fantastic. I loved it. To me, it tastes like a lemonade. Now, obviously, we, times can change. Things will switch out, so kind of keep your eyes peeled. Follow websites for what they have on tap, but flavor-wise, I'd honestly give it a four and a half. Hops, probably about a three and a half. It, it is a little bit hoppy on the forward side, but overall, great IPA. I agree on the hops level, I disagree on the flavor. <laughs> I had some of his, because he's like, you have to try it. I was like, I had it? Oh no. I think that was in the video, wasn't it? I think I had it on the video, I was like, <laughs> yeah, you sound like the cat is. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I'm I'm less of an IPA guy than him. And I was like, well, I could taste all the hops in that. And I'm just not a fan. Good quality, not my type of beer. <laughs> and I ended, my fourth one was the Warden, Milk Stop. Not the character or the, or the mob from Minecraft. It's the beer. I'm a nerd, shut up. <laughs> I like Minecraft too, but you and I don't hold that one, but thank you, John. You're welcome. Flavor, a one. Hands down, just a one. I did not care for it. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better, but to me, it's like coffee forward in a way, or the roastedness was what got me, but happiness, five, straight up five. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's a five. No ifs, ands, or buts, my friend. You gave me the rest of it to drink. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay, hops like a two, the flavor a four and a half. That was a great beer, great stout, easy to drink and smooth. I'm I'm all about that kind. Oh, we can argue about this. Oh, we do not argue about this. We always argue about this. What do we not argue about? How about that? Beer's good? People are crazy. You're just arguing with me now for no reason. We both like beer. We that just... was a country song. That's what I was trying to go for. I don't know country songs. I know rock songs. Okay, so on that note, appreciate you guys stopping on by the channel. Make sure you guys come hang out here. I'm actually going to show you guys here real quick before we end this video, actually. Let's do a little quick perusing. There's John. So you got your merch over there. There's your bar. There's Mr. Bear. 
it's like a nice open environment. So make sure you guys do stop by, have a drink. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And support your local breweries. Like John said, make sure you guys do support. Also, shout to Roosevelt's for the shirt. It is so comfortable. Make sure you guys check them out. Maybe you can find one. They do golf tees, polos, stuff like this. Lots of variety, Marvel, every kind. So make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.